What's up, guys? You are welcome to Malcolm TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities, and metro stories. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: APC shocked as Air Fry tells PDP how to end Tinubu's reign in Lagos. All right, guys. If I go back to reading today's news to you, please. If this is the first time you are watching any of our videos in our channel. Please, there's a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, click the bell icon beside it, and you will stay updated whenever we publish news like this in the future without missing any news again. All right, now the news in details. Malam Nasa Eru Fry, the executive governor of Kaduna State, has on Saturday revealed that he was able to both defeat and retire four political godfathers in the state, saying that the feat could be replicated anywhere, including Lagos State, where the national leader of the party, Bola Tinubu, holds where with strong a grip. Erufai who made an argument that godfathers were only existing on papers and in the mind of the people made a disclosure that the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP will be keenly putting into consideration that the key to defeating them was in going to the people directly. He, however, was in admittance that defeating godfathers was no means fit, was a no mean fit as it requires time and hard work. The Kaduna State Governor made this known in Ikoi, Lagos State at an event which was organized by Bridge Club tagged an evening with His Excellency Malam Nasa Erufrai, Governor of Kaduna State. As he gave his main speech, Erufrai had encouraged the club members who are businessmen not to shy away from politics, saying it was highly important even more than making money as bad politics could prove to have a drastic consequence on their businesses. Erufrai said Nigeria had permanently remained a country of potentials because good and competent people had distanced themselves from politics. However, during the question and answer session, a senior advocate of Nigeria, three time commissioner in Lagos State, Dr. Muiz Banire, observed that Godfathers was one of the major drawbacks for professionals and businessmen in the country who might want to delve into politics. Banire then asked Erufra how the issue of Godfatherism could be effectively dealt with. Responding, Erufra said, Godfatherism, this is Lagos. Let me tell you something, sir. You know Kaduna State used to be like that. There were three or four politicians in Kaduna that could not become anything unless you had them on your side. Those were Godfathers of Kaduna politics. And you had to carry them along. And you know, you know the three words, carry them along, means paying them regularly but we choose a different path and the long and short of it is that now after the this election in 2019 we have retired all of them and we had to Erufra in in addition revealed that the fact that only 1 million out of 6 million people registered registered in Lagos voters voted in the last general election was an opportunity to end godfathers fatherism in the state he said, here in Lagos, you have over 6 million registered voters. Only about 1 million in 2019 general election. 5 million did not vote. If I want to run for governorship election in Lagos, I will start now. I will commission a study to know why those 5 million registered voters did not vote. Where do they go on election day? Then I will start visiting them for the next four years. I will try and get just 2 million of them to come and vote for me. I will defeat any godfather. The key is to go to the people. The card reader and biometric register have given us the tool to connect directly with the people. I assure you, if you do that for the next four years, connecting with the people, the teen godfather, you will retire them on you will retire him or her permanently. But it is a hard work. It requires three to four years of hard work. So if you want to run in 2023, you should start now. On the question of money, Aerofry said it will require about two billion to do the job, which he said the businessmen could provide. With about two billion, if you start, you you see these guys with black ties, they will give you the money. Many of the godfathers are either on paper or in the mind of the people in politics. They are defeatable. We retire four of them in Kaduna State within four years time and they are gone. 
one of them boasted that he put me in the government house and he would take me out. Earlier in his lecture, Errol Price said the difference between Nigeria and progressive nation of the world was because incompetent people were in charge in Nigeria. He said in most of the developed world, the best and the brightest are in politics and public services. I urge you to google the profile of captains of the US, UK, Japan, China, Singapore over the past 10 years. Compare their educational and experience profile with us. You understand why we are where we are today. The UK has been run by graduate of Oxford most of the time. The US has been run by graduate of Harvard and Yale most of the time in the last 100 years. You go to China, Singapore, similar profiles. In Nigeria, we have people that never went to school in our National Assembly. We have people with unquestionable qualification as state governors. We will go nowhere as long as our best and brightest people that sit in rooms like this are not in politics or public services. The president of Bridge Club, Mr. A.U. Mustafa San, who is a private lawyer, described the governor as an upright and intelligent person. Mustafa said Eru Fry was invited to that to, was invited so that he could tell the club members about himself as opposed to the image being given him by the press. Among the dignitary at the event were the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Amuju Amaju Pinik, the managing director, Bank of Industry Wajid Olajungu, and MD First Monumental Bank, Adam Nuru. Alright, this is gotten from Punch. Uh, what do you guys think about it? This is Aero Fry actually uh, descending very hard on Tinobu. He has said the best way Godfatherism could be defeated in Lagos was for the politician or the person who wants to do the job should go directly to the people. Amongst the scene he mentioned, he said that the card reader and the biometrics that I need use have already connected you with the people. So you don't have a problem. The thing you have to do is connect with the people. Now look at what this guy is saying. He has given a very powerful tip here. And the tip is, you know, INEC has all register, all information. They have a database of all the electorates in the country. Now, uh, Erufry is saying here that if you are able to get the SMS, the phone numbers of these guys who registered in INEC, man, you can start sending bulk SMS. That's what I understand to mean. What he said that the biometrics and the uh, and the card reader have already given us information on the people. That's what he meant by that. So if you, as a smart guy, you can contact the INEC rec of that state, get all the database of those who registered, and start sending them SMS. If you start sending SMS now within the space of four years, if one million people registered for the election, that was according to him, the statistics was that one million people voted in the 2019 election in Lagos State. So Eric Fry is saying here that if you can campaign to three million people or four million people and you get two million people to actually vote for you, man, you have taken the lead. You have won the election. And by so doing, you would retire Godfatherism in the state. Now, this has come as a shock to many because Eru Fryer is an APC member. Tinubu is one of the national leaders of APC. Now, why is he saying this? This guy is in perpetual hatred with Tinubu. This guy doesn't like Tinubu at all because of Tinubu's growing influence. They see Tinubu as, you know, uh, doubling into 2023 election, I mean, presidential election. They know, obviously, that the party will want to um zone the presidency to 2023 and they know obviously all odds will favor tinobu in fact there's a news i read there's a rumor i, I read that um fashola aero fryer is teaming up with fashola that they not will want to present fashola as a candidate for 2023 then aero fry will run as a vice after fashola finishes his tenure aero fry will now run as a president this is their plan so they are starting now to fight this battle to reduce tenubu to nothing that's what is going on now man this is politics for you guys politics is about the game of interest so these guys have begun the battle you will hear every politicians of the north talking about that tenubu can never succeed worry in fact we even heard recently that the the, the chairman of Mieti Allah cattle association of nigeria 
these cattle breeders. The chairman came and lambasted Tinubu and the South East. He said that Tinubu should forget about succeeding Buari, that Tinubu can never succeed Buari. He even said that power can never go back to the South East. So this guy at the time, this Mietiala chairman, attacked both Tinubu and the South East at the same time. So what is actually going on here? Because the rotation policy of uh, the country, according to the constitution and according to the party, is to foster unity, is to reduce tension and to stop unnecessary crisis and heating up of the polity. That's what rotation is supposed to mean. In fact, if you look at Western country, you discover that these guys have already endeared themselves to rotation. You see, Democrats will rule for eight years and then they will hand over power to uh, Republican. Republican will finish ruling for eight years and they will hand over power to Democrat. That is how they have worked out and you will never hear of election violence. But these guys here from the north, they want to rule this country perpetually. So they have started now and they have taken the battle to every nook and cranny of this nation. The birthright of ruling this country belongs to them. That's what they claim. So what do you guys think? Aerofly has come out and I descended very hard on Tinubu. Though we know Godfatherism is the cause of our problem in our democracy today, Erufry has given a very nice tip. He said when he came on board, he defeated Godfatherism in Kaduna politics, that if it could work for him in Kaduna politics, obviously it can work anywhere. It can work in Lagos. And I know it's going to work because... If this guy could do it, then it can definitely work. With the backings of the Northern Cabal, and you know, every Northern Cabal hates Tinubu. They don't like him because of his domineering influence. Now, Tinubu is not only domineering Southwest, you know, geopolitical zone. He has extended his influence even into the Middle Belt. Look at Yahya Belo. Yahya Belo is in the Middle Belt, but Yahya Belo recently went to meet Tinubu to consult with Tinubu, to beg Tinubu. To allow him to go. That goes a long way to tell you how powerful this guy is. Tinubu has money. Of course, you guys remember at the run up to the election in 2019, Tinubu was seen, you understand me, with Bodilon Van. Bodilon Van was seen entering Tinubu's home and nothing was done. Man, this was money laundry, but nothing was done. EFC never went after Tinubu. ICPC never went after him. This is corruption of the highest order. We are beginning to doubt the corruption fight of Mr. President. Because if you are fighting corruption, it must start from your home. So what do you guys think about this? I want to drop your comment below. And before I leave, I want to let you guys know that Emacom TV is offering a training. We are organizing a training online to teach you how you can start making money from posting your own YouTube, um, news to your YouTube channel. Currently, I make between $100 to $150 daily posting news like this to YouTube. So if you are interested to learn the secret of how you can get started, then you can contact me in the email below. There's an email in the description. Go ahead, contact me, and I'm going to teach you the secret of how you can get started. Number one, you will learn how to create videos using your mobile phone. You don't even need a laptop. You learn how to create a news like this using your mobile phone, how to upload your news to YouTube channel, how to rank your news, your video in Google search and on YouTube, and then how to get subscribers in their thousands. So if you are interested, you want to learn the secret, go ahead, contact me in the description below and we'll discuss modalities of how the training will go. And also again, so if you need a website for your business, you want an e-commerce website with credit card facility to receive money, you can go ahead and contact me. If you also need a website, you understand me, for your school, to run your school management system, you can contact me. You need a website for your church. You need a website for your organization, be it a forum like Naira Land. If you want to start making money online, publishing your own blog, you can contact uh, me in the description and I'll set up a stunning world-class website for you at an affordable uh, rate. So if you're interested, go ahead, contact me in the description below. All right, guys, that is it. I thank you guys for listening to my uh, video. Before you leave, please, I request you share this video to your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and um, and WhatsApp. God bless you guys. This is Malcolm TV. Peace out to you all.